For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. Also, I've got a new merchandise store, hats, hoodies and new tee designs all available right now on the link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 33 of My Player here on FIFA 17. We start with the final of the preseason tournament, the European International Cup against Udinese. We follow that up with the first qualifying round for the Champions League against Rosenborg. So we will have to wait and see how we get on in that second game. Hopefully we can get ourselves a decent result in the first leg of the qualifiers to put us in great position to get through to the Champions League group stage here at Real Betis. First though, we want to perhaps maybe even get ourselves up to 76 rated. You can see how close we are just there, but we want to win this preseason tournament as well if we possibly can. So that is what we're going to try and do. Do drop the video a like if you enjoy, of course, and subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more of this series or the Everton career mode series. But Udinese, preseason tournament final, let's go. Free kick through Udinese in, well, the most central of positions. He's kicked that straight into the wall. We have the counter-attack opportunity here. And if I can just get past this defender. Oh, it's Armero. I'm not going to do him for pace. Although, apparently, I can do him for pace. I thought Armero was absolutely rapid. He did catch me up, in fairness, at the end. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Find a teammate, Chez. Well done. There's Petros. Find a teammate, Petros. Or go for the shot and get tripped and win a free kick. All right, that'll do. That's a good second second best. Now, Pacheco scored a wonderful free kick in the last game. Can he bury this one into the back of the net as was? Well, no, he hits the post. Great set piece again from Pacheco. Petros back to Leiva. Can we fashion a second opportunity? Really unfortunate not to have taken an early lead there. Leiva is doing really well here just to hold off the defenders to ensure that we keep possession. But that wasn't the best of passes. We'll come back to Pacheco though. To Leiva again. Nice ball inside to Sanabria. Gets to turn in. I'm here if he needs. I'll call for the pass. We'll get it. We'll go through that gap there to Pacheco who gets tackled by Herto and Sanabria can't pick up the loose ball. And now they have the opportunity to counter-attack. If he can go, oh, he made the wrong decision there. Man on the far side was in behind. Kone into Toro. Now they go out to Badu. Well, uh, that was not what the, see, the fans would have wanted there. A really nice little ticky-tacker move, but an awful finish at the end of it. End-to-end -end start here. We got a hat-trick in the previous game, of course. But we uh, haven't come any closer personally to getting a goal in this game. But we have hit the post as a team through Pacheco's wonderful free kick. Beanie out to Diga. That's oh, a nice ball through looking for Sanabria. I'm just going to drop short here. Then make the burst into the box around the penalty spot. He was just about to give it to me. They'll call for it from Puccini. Help it on its way out wide just to find a man in space. And Petros... Yeah, OK, the standard of finishing so far in this game hasn't been that impressive. The free kick was good, but the two shots from open play, one for us, one from them, have been as woeful as each other. Pacheco on the run down the left. It's a really good run as well. Can he find a cross? He's found a pass. Here's Alex Martinez into Sanabrian. That one was much closer to the back of the net. Drifting still past that right-hand post. But he tried to bend it away from the keeper and angle it into that corner. Just didn't quite get the angle right. Getting closer and closer, though. A goal is coming. Sanabria. Ball for the through ball. You have to play it quickly, my man. He's played me in. And I told you the goal was coming. And it's ourselves that have gotten it. 1-0 to Real Betis after 31 and a half minutes. Go for a little cheeky Spanish dance. The fans delighted, as you can see. Nice little through ball from Sanabria. I called for it early, but he just took an extra couple of touches just to ensure that there was enough space to get me in. And I'll tell you what, right into the top corner. Good finish, that. Real Betis 1, Udinese 0. We lead in the European International Cup final. Lodi into Kone, through wall opportunity there. Oh, he's gone for the worldy. I thought that was in the back of the net. Oh, you see the ball bounce off the back of the hoardings and into the, uh, the literally the back of the net, the other side of it. And I thought he'd buried it in the, the, uh, in the top corner, but fortunately it went wide and we'll go in at half time with a 1 0 lead. Widmer picked off by Mandy. Petros forward to me. I'm going to bring that down actually rather than just trying to flick it on immediately. Now dink this out towards Lever, who can bring it down himself, plays it into Puccini, who could go for the return pass, but decided against it. He's going to drill it into me here. I was about to call for it anyway. Man trying to close me down, so we'll switch back and give it to Sanabria. Gone forward again. Now Sanabria's got three defenders just stood there with him. I'll call for it here because I've got myself in some space. And there's plenty of room out wide here for Pacheco, who gets himself tackled, but should keep hold of the ball and has done well. Cross could come in here. It has done, but... Oh, defender, what have you done? Herto chests that into the back of his own net as the keeper came for it. 
clearly wasn't any call from him. Defender didn't know to get out of the way and just tried to block the cross as I was trying to get on the end of it and he's put it into the back of his own net. A comical piece of defending or a comical piece of goalkeeping. You decide, should the goalkeeper have given his defender a shout? Should he have stayed on his line? Is that the defender's fault? Is that the goalkeeper's fault? Whoever's fault it is, it's Real Betis 2, Udinese 0. Here's Stoyulyukov holding it up well in the box. He's got people to pass to, just doesn't seem to want to pass it to them. Gets it to Lever. He's got people to pass to and he will use a teammate. Puccini gets that into me. See the run on the outside of me. Danny Cabellos could shoot. I've told him to. He hits it straight against the defender. I've called for the pass here. Alex Martinez gets it back to me. Oh, that wasn't far away. I just wanted to bend and whip that into the far top corner to end this pre-season tournament in style. Unfortunately, <laughs> I wasn't able to do it. Nice tackle by Cabellos on Kony. I'm going to get it here and I'll play it before he gets offside here. Stoyolyakov. To finish the game off, yes, very nicely tucked into that bottom corner. That's an assist for us now, as well as our goal. We're on an 8.9 rating. Stoilyukov finishes the game off in the 83rd minute. Real Betis 3, Udinese 0. As they committed bodies forward, plenty of space opened up at the back. The other striker just held his run enough for me to be able to get the turn in and then get it to him before he ran offside. And then... To be fair, I was hoping it was going to go across goal, but he squeezed it inside that near post very nicely. In a similar fashion to how Hakan talanolu has been doing recently in the Everton career mode as well. Very nice, tidy finish. Three goals to nil. We are going to win this pre-season tournament. Fidman into Fake, across to Aguirre. Tackled by Bruno. And the final whistle surely won't be long in coming. Lever up to Stojilkovic. I always struggle saying his name, but he's played me through. He's returned the favour, and it took me 10 years to get that under control. But, oh, I've hit the post, and it comes back and hits me, and then the keeper grabs it. Well, we could have made it four and gotten ourselves a second goal personally to go with our assist, but it's <laughs> only the three. Never mind, we'll take that. Oh, really disappointed that didn't go in. A goal and an assist, an 8.9 rating to go hand-in-hand -hand with our perfect 10 in the last game. We'll head now into our first ever European game. A fourth round qualifying tie for the Champions League against Rosenborg. If this training session goes well, we could get ourselves up to 76 rated. In fact, we would get ourselves up to 76 rated, but we are oh so very close. Very, very close to 76 rated. I think the next training session with uh, the penalties and the fin uh, finishing going up, we would almost, well, we would definitely become 76 rated. We've had like a three-week break between the Udinese game and this Rosenborg one. So I have been training each week and we should, well, we will. almost it, We will get an F. Even if we get an F in that second training session, we will go up to 76 rated here. I did just have a transfer offer from Villarreal uh, in for me, but I rejected it without putting it to a vote because... Villarreal are one of the sides that we beat to the Champions League spot. So it would be a step backwards to go to Villarreal and it just wasn't a move that I'd be interested in right now. So I rejected it without putting it to a, uh, a vote, etc. But our finishing is up 1 to 82. Penalties is up 1 to 74. Our overall is up 1 to 76. We will head now into that game against Rosenborg in three days' time. I'm not on the transfer list, so I wasn't sure why we got a transfer... Well, I can understand why we got a transfer offer in for us, but I wasn't expecting one, put it that way. We've been selected, though, in the starting lineup here against Rosenborg, and we'll see if we can get ourselves a good win in this first leg against the... Uh, they're Norwegian, aren't they? Against the Norwegian side from the Tipperlagen. Jensen. Oh, cheers, mate. He's given that straight to me. It wasn't really a great interception. He just literally kicked it at my feet. I apologise in advance for all horrific Norwegian pronunciations in this uh, particular game, or both ties, but I will try my best to get them at least somewhere close to the correct pronunciation. Here's Sanabria on the ball, into Digar, into Petros, comes across to me. We'll try and bend this, it's taken a deflection, it'll be a corner. Poor shot, it says. Not really too sure that that was a poor shot. Every time it tells me it's a poor shot, it's normally one that's just been blocked. So, not really a poor shot. That could be something... No, my guy decided not to try and head that. And Zhang Limpeng, well, that's not... It's definitely not a Norwegian name, is uh, able to clear that away for a throw. Leiva gets the throw to Sanabria. We could get it back in. Here's Digar. Nice little back heel. Puccini to Leiva again. Pass it, mate. Go on, there we go. Digar through there to Petros. Petros to Diga is going to go out wide to Lever. We're passing it about nicely, but not getting anywhere. And Jensen tries to catch us on the counter, but that swept to me, actually. Wasn't expecting that. I'm going to poke that through there. Looking for the man through the middle, but Petros can't get there. And it's cleared away. 
Oh, we're putting the pressure on in the opening 20 minutes or so, but we haven't yet been able to find a way through. Pacheco with the throw into Petros, into Degar, played it through to me. I've given it to Sanabria, oh, who tried to give it back to me, but it's well cleared away by Conradson. And we'll look to build again. It's Petros making the run forward, and he slotted me in very nicely into this channel here. Now, I haven't got much support, so I'm going to try and turn inside, which we've done brilliantly. And I want to pull it back, which is what we'll do. And Petros, good save by Hansen. Really good start. The pass back was actually meant for uh, Sanabria there. You can see Sanabria pulled back to the penalty spot. Actually, to be fair, Sanabria was still backing away and that extra defender may have tucked in and been able to get it away. So perhaps it was a good thing that it went to Petros, but unfortunately the keeper saved it. Corner comes in and Helland beats me to it to uh, get it away and Kikiar will uh, get it out for Rosenborg and complete the clearance. But delanley has gone all the way back to his defenders. And they've just smacked it clear as if anywhere will do. Rosenborg been very negative in this first leg here. Not wanting to give up an away goal, but at the same time, not really trying to score a goal to go in front either. Seems like they'd be happy with a nil-nil here. I wouldn't be happy with a nil-nil. I'd like an away goal if possible, but so far, nothing doing. Sanabria, make the run into that gap. Touch is good. Pass is good. Can Pacheco return the ball? No, it's a great tackle by Zhang. Jensen will get it away and Helen will complete the clearance. Oh, he got caught from behind there. Be lucky not to get himself booked for that. Advantage played, and Svensson and Jensen will continue to clear it, but Petros steps in. Alex Martinez to Petros again, into me. I'll give that to Sanabri through the defender's legs and keep my run going. And Kenny, oh, he's done very well to get around the outside, into Pacheco. Oh, I couldn't get there. I threw myself at it, as did the defender, and it was the defender that got there first. Alex Martinez could put the ball back into the box. Well, there's a couple of people there on the edge, one of which is Petros, going on one of those mazy runs. Oh, he went for the shot. That was not the right thing to do in that situation. Skjelvik will get it away, and Conradson will complete the clearance, unfortunately. 55 minutes in, still nil-nil, but we're continuing to put the pressure on the Rosenborg goal. Drill this out wide there to Pacheco. And he's actually got past the defender as well. It's a good turn. He could shoot. Oh, Sanabria looking to just deftly slide that into the near post, but he's not able to do it. Someone's getting a yellow card here for a tackle earlier on. It's Alex Martinez. That shot, though, nearly snuck in that near post. Half an hour to go. Pacini into Lever. Cross comes in. Sanabria's underneath it, but Zhang heads it away for a corner. Let's see if we can get something from the set piece to give ourselves a 1-0 lead here in this first leg. It's a decent ball in. It's well won by Bruno and Hansen makes a very good save to tip that over the top. Really, really good save actually from a good header too. Corner's come in again and he's headed towards a near post. Jensen was the one that won that header. Lever will keep it in. Cross could come in again. Still waiting for it. Oh, he gets caught there and they're going to clear it unfortunately and Lever's actually stayed down there injured. Hopefully he's able to get back up and isn't going to miss any period of time. But unfortunately their keeper is in good form today and we haven't been able to find a way past him. Got a free kick. I'm expecting him to go short here, but no. Looks like he's going to punt it into the box. Who's underneath it? Zhang, unfortunately. And Goody gets it away. Delanley into Stabmanstro. Get Kiar to Helland. This could be a good, good counter attack. We've only got one defender in kind of a sweeping role behind everybody else. But Alex Martinez gets a tackle in. Pacheco finds me. And I'll look to get it out wide to the injured, Lever. He's not seeming to carry that injury anymore, so he might be all right. Get that in there to Martin, who can play it through. Martin, no. Oh, he's still got it. I'm not really too sure how, but he's still got it. I'll call for it here. Bit of space. Give it a crack. Go on, get in the net. Yes. Amazing goal, it says in the top right. I'm very pleased with that as well. Oh, 11 minutes to go. We have ourselves an away goal. A really good strike from outside the box. Couldn't have hit that much cleaner if we asked, to be honest. Nice little setup. Good first touch and ping. Hit very clean into that far left-hand side. Clean strike. Good goal. Amazing goal, in fact, according to the game. 1-0 Betis. Win that header. Well up, Christian Pacini. That was very good. Unfortunately, I don't know we have been able to outmuscle the defender. We'll find Leo. It just helps along its way to Alex Martinez. We could get a second here. Busting a gut to get in the box, but I don't think a cross is going to come. Going to work it on the floor. Here's Martin. He could shoot. We'll pass it to me. Or Pacini could pass it to me. And then we'll shoot. And, oh, actually, Hansen makes another good save. Good shot. Thank you, game. We'll see if we can get a good header 
from this corner. In it comes. We might get a good header from this corner. It was actually Martin that headed that. And it's cleared away by a defender off the line. Alex Martinez turns out and gets it to me. Oh, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea why I even bother to shoot from there, to be completely honest. But the final whistle is going to go. Our strike, 10 minutes from time, gives us a 1-0 win here in the first leg against Rosenborg. We're going to head into the second leg in the next episode with a 1-0 aggregate lead and, of course, the away goal as well to boot, which will come in handy. 88% pass accuracy with 22 passes completed, one key pass, two shots on target, plus a third, which was a goal, and one shot off target, so four in total. Pleased with today's episode, to be honest. A convincing win over Udinese and then a win that we had to really grind out against Rosenborg there. We'll play Villarreal and Rosenborg in the second leg in the next episode. But for now, that's going to bring this one to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further episodes. And I will see you next time.